All right, so I made it. <laughs> My uh, internet went out in the middle of the last attempt, but here I am. I'm trying to see if I can share in one of my groups here. Hopefully that's working. If not, I can't see it on my phone for whatever reason, but I can see that I am in my Facebook page. So let's get started. Okay, this is the number one strategy to 10x your direct sales business or any business for that matter um, and eight reasons why it is so effective. Uh, my name is April Ray. I'm CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Thank you guys for joining me. Any of you hopping on, thank you. Let me know where you are viewing me from. Um, and if you're in my group, give me some love, give me some hearts if uh, you know you like what you hear. All right, so let's get started, guys. Branding is the number one strategy that I uh, had a big difference in my business uh, when I started what when I started branding my business the right way. And I want to talk about what branding is not, okay? It's not a logo. It's not your colors. It's not your tagline. Uh, creating those visuals um, actually happen after you've done the hard work of building your brand. And once you do that, everything else just sort of falls into place. And a lot of people do it backwards. I know I did. Okay, we got a little phone call distraction. Never mind, I'm not going to answer that. Anyways, most people do it backwards, and so did I. I did it backwards. What I did was, um, like I was told, not to brand your business, not to brand your company, but to brand you. And so I thought meant, that meant just get a logo and have a nice tagline and maybe have a website with my face plastered all over it. But I didn't really know what to do after that. It didn't really help me uh, in my business. It didn't help me with my marketing in any way. It didn't make things any easier. Um, so why is branding so effective? Well, number one, it gives you clarity and vision for who you want to be, what you want to say, what you want to be known for, and how you want to look online, okay? It makes your marketing more purposeful. You're not just throwing things out there and hoping something works, right? It eliminates that confusion, which basically makes you more productive. So you're not like, you know, hours and hours on Facebook trying to recruit and stalk people. You're actually doing something that you can get in, make a plan, and get out, right? Initiate that plan and get out. Also, number two, it separates you from just being a distributor for a company to being an actual biz business owner, okay? When your friends and family doubt you, when you feel a little uh, uncomfortable about approaching people, um, they're really going to change your tune and congratulate you and be excited for you when they see your brand and how you're building your business around, uh, you're building your brand around your company and your company's products. And what happens is when we start our network mar marketing company, we don't really think about what it means to build a business, right? We're kind of just taught how to be a salesperson. The first thing they tell you is to, you know, make your list of 100 people and um, a tr a talk to anybody who has a pulse and basically just makes you a salesperson that can make their own hours. You're working for a company as a salesperson that basically you know, you can make your own hours. That's great, but that's not being a business owner. That's not building a, a large, uh, scalable business uh, that really benefits you in the long run. Number three, it helps you stand out from the crowd. Branding helps you stand out from all the other thousands of people that are online in your company selling the same products you are, selling the same services you are. It really defines uh, you and um, pushes you out into the forefront from all the other noise that everybody else is saying and doing online. With the right branding, you basically eliminate competition, okay? You don't have any competition with the right branding. Number four, it attracts the right people to you who want to work, from you, work, work with you or buy from you, right? You don't have to stock people the people are going to be attracted to your brand, the right people. Instead of chasing people, they're going to be actually chasing you. They're going to be asking you, what do you do? How can I work with you? You know, things of that nature. Those are the kinds of things that, you know, we dream about in our business, that we're not constantly having to chase people but have people actually um, 
chase us. Hopefully you guys can see me and hear me. Let me know if you are watching live. Go ahead and put a one if you can see me. I can't see anything in the group. So hopefully this version is working. And I don't see anything in the, on my page, but that's okay. I'm going to keep going. All right. So number five, it gives you the option to choose to prospect or not. Seriously. You know, I don't really prospect anymore. I don't prospect at all. I sucked at it. I was horrible at it. And it didn't work for me because it really felt in, inauthentic. It didn't feel right to prospect because everything was about the motive, the outcome. How can I get them to join? How can I get them to sign up? And I felt like, yeah, maybe I was meeting people online, but I had an agenda. You know what I'm saying? So I felt kind of dirty. And uh, frankly, I couldn't just say, you know, it was, you know, I did a lot of spamming when I first started, but I couldn't just come out and say, hey, do you want to, you want a business opportunity? It just felt weird. So branding combined with other marketing strategies gave me the option to where I don't have to prospect anymore. People are coming to me. Okay. Number six. It makes you the authority and expert in your niche, okay? When you do this right, people are going to look to you for leadership. They're going to see you as a leader already. And when we sign up for our direct sales business, I, and I know this is true for me, I really didn't think about having to be a leader. I really didn't think about it in depth at all. I was just excited about the fact that, oh yeah, I can possibly, you know, um, have time freedom and have all this money and I can quit my job. And that's really what we got to ex get excited about. And they s make it sound so easy, you know, to make it happen until that time where you're alone and you're thinking about, okay, what do I do next? You know, you don't know what to do. And uh, you realize that I got to build a team and I don't even know what to do. My upline is missing in action, at least in my experience. They didn't know what they were doing. And if I'm going to build a team that is going to make me successful, because ultimately in network marketing, you have to be able to build a team and make that team successful in order for you to be successful, right? Unfortunately, um, that's not, not everybody knows how to do that, and they don't really teach you how to do that in the company. Branding helps you uh, become the leader automatically almost, and then combined with certain strategies, you will really learn how to help your teammates become leaders as well. Number seven, it provides flexibility in your business. So leading with your brand instead of your direct sales company, it kind of it gives you the ability to have multiple streams of income from other sources other than your company. And the reason why uh, a lot of companies don't want you to um, be marketing other products along with theirs, they don't want that competition or whatever, I don't know. So they have it in their rules that you can't do maybe affiliate marketing or any other avenues of bringing other money in. But see, you don't want to put all of your eggs in one basket, right? Because you never know what's going to happen with your company or you don't really know. Um, sometimes your, your products aren't selling all that well, but at least you have this other money coming in, right? You have other sources of income. So it really, branding, since you're leading with your brand and not your company, really gives you that flexibility to have multiple streams of income. Also, if for some reason you decide you want to leave your current company that you're with, right, because you don't feel like you resonate with it as much or you found one that you resonate more with, which happens a lot in our industry. A lot of times we kind of hop around in our industry. You're not going to look flaky to people <laughs> because you've talked about your company and your products uh, all day on social media because they're not going to see it, it's not going to, your business isn't going to skip a beat. They're not going to see a difference when you change companies. And I know a lot of people who do this where one day they're marketing one product and then a month later they found something better. And I don't know if this has ever happened to you or if you've had someone say, oh, so you're selling that now? What happened to, you know, that other product you were selling? What happened to that other company you were in? And that's kind of embarrassing. I mean, you know, you really need to, you want to look like a professional. You don't want to look like you're confused. Nobody wants to work with a confused person or someone that's not stable and they're just kind of hopping around, right? Okay, and the last one, number eight, it keeps your company safe, okay? 
That's a big one. It keeps your company safe. There are a lot of MLM and direct sales companies out there that have been shut down by the FTC because of unscrupulous marketing tactics by their, rep their uh, representatives. And that's happened to me twice. I've had one company shut down completely. And then the other one, they just stopped uh, doing business with U.S. and Canada, all because of the way people were marketing. And when you're constantly um, shouting out the name of your company and you're using their logo, um, you can potentially get them in trouble, okay? Um, you can help avoid that by not stating the name or association of the company on social media, right? Lead with your brand. Lead with you, not the company. Also, when you're trying to sell products on your profile page, it's actually against Facebook's terms of service and can get your, your profile page shut down, right? So all you need is one complaint for somebody and you can have your profile and you, they won't let you get another one. You'll have to do some sneaky tactic uh, to get another profile page. So branding protects you from that and it protects your company. So those were the eight reasons why branding is so effective. And my question for you is this, when you see yourself, when people see you, I should say, in their newsfeed, what impression are you giving them? All right, do you look professional or do you look like a salesperson? And think about how you want to look in the future. All right, hopefully this, Hopefully this uh, broadcasted where it's supposed to broadcast. So that's it, guys. If you're watching me from my business page, if you could see me, uh, if you're watching the replay, uh, type pound replay and let me know that you were able to hear me and see me. Um, also, come join me in my Facebook community. You can get more exclusive training from me and support. And I'll go ahead and put that link into the uh, comments area and share this out if you think you have some friends in the industry that might find some value from it. And if you're watching from my group, if it happened to actually work, <laughs> be sure to check the pin post for the free video that I have where I'm gonna dive, where I actually dive deeper into branding and how it works and the marketing strategies that uh, go along with branding. All right, so that's it. I don't see anyone, but that's okay. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.